Well, basically, we're the tour operator arm of the airline, so it's my job to help fill the airline seats by also selling hotel at the same time. So I work with hotels and I work with destinations to promote those destinations and to sell those hotels within those destinations. So I contract and work with people all throughout all the destinations where we fly in Mexico. Uh, it's great. It's great to have information on what they're doing, uh, the Mexico Tourism Board, how they're doing, what their plan is going forward. It's great to be involved in that so we can really figure out how to best to work together because that's really the point is to figure out how to promote Mexico and sell more Mexico. Uh, Cabo is doing very well actually. Um, I would say after Cancun Rivera Maya, Cabo is probably the next one. Um, it's pretty much the premier destination on the west coast of Mexico. It's really kind of come up in the world and, and stands apart from the other west coast destinations. There's a certain air of, of luxury and it really has something different to offer and I think that really is appealing to some of our clients. We're starting to sell it more on the east coast with east coast based travel agents and I think people that are used to going to the Caribbean and even the Mexican Caribbean, for people that are t used to that destination, Cabo is completely different and I think once they come they love it and they want to come back. I'm a tour operator which means I'm primarily booked by travel agents. Travel agents book through my website so when they keep booking the same web, they keep booking on my website and I can see by the hotels that they book, I can see the satisfaction there. If I get a complaint, sometimes there's an issue and I get an email from the travel agent, this person wasn't happy, what can you do for them? I don't remember getting anything for Cabo in the last six years I've been doing this. Well, I, it, it is a higher price. I think it, it's supposed to be. I mean, there are lower priced options here and I carry a range. Um, I carry between three star and five star and that's what I want to offer my clients. So the high priced items, they need to be high priced. They're five star, you have to pay for five star and you, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So I, I don't see any problems with the, with the pricing. I think Cabo's done a very good job of setting themselves apart as a luxury destination. They've marketed themselves very well that way and I don't think that they should to desert that. I think that's working for them. Um, we also do promotional activities with the Mexico Tourism Board, the Miami office of Mexico Tourism Board. We're talking about possibly doing events in Charlotte, Philadelphia, Dallas to promote Los Cabos. Um, the CBB in town, the state government, the Baja California Sur has always been very supportive of doing events to promote those flights. Um, Mexico Tourism Board is supportive, so we believe in doing those events. We did an event earlier this year in Charlotte and in uh, North and South Carolina to promote, and I think it's important to keep doing that. Um, we're also working on a marketing plan with the Los Cabos CBB, so that's been going this year. So really, I see nothing but uh, numbers continuing to go up as they have been. I love Los Cabos. It's probably maybe the 15th time I've been. Um, first of all, it's very accessible. It's uh, an hour and a half flight from Phoenix where I live. Um, it's just very easy here. It's very easy to be here. The food is great, the people are friendly, the service is great, but it's just, it's easy. There's not language barrier issues, it's just, it feels like home.